What is up guys, Annie to your guild forever gonna do a brief little review for Kamen Rider Dagitsu episode 6 Well, well, well This episode, honestly I have some theories I want to talk about this episode You guys can let me know whether you agree, you disagree There may be more to it I don't know but especially with this last scene that they showed at the end of the episode, this last scene right here, this kind of, this got me thinking. Now, again, I could be wrong. I could be right. We'll see. Um, so let's, let's get into this. My theory is apparently there's a great threat. Okay. Named Jama uh, y uh, Yamato, Yamato, Yamato. Jam Jamato, how, how are you say that name? You guys, help you can help me out with that. But uh, reason why I'm talking about uh, this is due to one main important factor. Okay, they're talking about this great threat. I thought that one guy that we saw before was like an enemy, but no, he's actually an ally. He's probably he's probably what the one that orchestrated this whole grand prix tournament and everything that's going on now i have this theory i have a theory that the reason this tournament even happened okay phone shut up shut up phone i have a feeling the reason why this tournament happening is they were trying to recruit common riders but here's the thing they're trying to get maybe a team a team of really good common riders to combat a real uh, uh, a powerful threat that's incoming so basically there is gonna be no more tournament after this again I, I i could be wrong i could be wrong and they still have to duke it out amongst all four of each other maybe and to see who's actually number one but i feel like it would be better again you guys can let me know whether this is possible or not but i think it would be so much better if look if there really is an impending doom coming and he needs the power of common riders to combat this threat wouldn't it be better to have more than one common riders and he said I hope you're ready for like I hope you're ready to combat what's coming like oh brave common riders common riders plural not singular plural meaning he's referring to more than one that's why I'm thinking maybe there's going to be no more tournament in the next fight and it's going to be and they're going to be informing them like look you four are the best common riders we got in regards to strength morality judgment decision makings this and that so you four are going to be teamed up together to combat what a huge threat that's coming i feel like i feel like that may, would make so much sense though why because i mean why else would you be having this tournament yes to grant people i feel like granting people's desire that's what the incentive was to get people to join on their own that was the point of it the point of having your own ideal wheel, world that was just the inf incentive to get people in but what ultimately they want is to recruit like a good common writer team that works well with each other and you know have chemistry with one another in regards to fighting uh being good partners being a teammate and honestly if these four become a team that would be amazing i mean i, I don't think i've ever seen this shot also at the end of like we've seen five episodes so far of common writer geats I've never seen this scene before and this scene right here that we're seeing it looks like a team this looks like a team to me it looks like they could be setting up a team to combat whatever like this jamato or whatever that's going to be approaching and they even said that this this threat's power is growing exponentially maybe that could be what all these monsters appearing these monsters could be something that was coming from this Jamato creature character whatever and now they're probably going to be sending in the big guns so I'm assuming from this point onward this is no longer going to be a tournament you're now going to act your roles out as common riders but I noticed to my to my knowledge there's a plot hole in this theory if they do bring that up there's no point for them to even want to get involved in this in the first place considering the fact like oh 
they're only doing this because they want their desires but maybe it's like the fact that they're being chosen shows that they are worthy to be common riders not just because how strong they are but because of how strong-willed their morality every they feel like regardless of what happens they'll still get involved because they want to you know help people out they want to be what they are are common writers heroes so again that's just my theory i could be wrong on it but i would that i feel like it would make the story so much better and that be wouldn't that be one hell of a twist i feel like that would be such a good twist though that because i'm just saying these are easily the four best characters in the series let's be real if they're in a team i'm all for it granted again um if i were to say my number one look if i were to list my okay among these four if i were to name my favorite characters among these four in order number one easily kewa number two buffa number three ace and number four neon let me know your 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 top your tier list for these four since these are basically the last ones and give me your reasons why again me personally i think kewa deserves to be number one in my tier list due to the fact that out of everyone here he feels like the most heroic character honestly i feel like i'm seeing another version of icky and some people could even make the argument like well oh that's boring we've already seen icky we already seen this type of characters multiple times before this that me personally look this is how i see it common writers are heroes okay that's how i see it and out of all four Kewa shows the most promise as a hero. Buffa. Granted, he's on a vengeful route. Like, he's out here for blood. Or, well, maybe not blood, but he's out here for revenge, okay? Predominantly against the whole idea of common Riders. I feel like, at some point, he's going to change his mind. And he might see common Riders in a different light. Therefore, I feel like buffa is gonna have one of the most craziest character developments in the whole series honestly i feel like his character development is gonna outshine maybe even kewa easily ace and easily neon just because he started out as someone that doesn't know who he is doesn't know like i mean he talks like he knows his place he knows his role he knows what he's going to do but honestly in this episodes in this episode he showed conflicting sides there was a conflict there was an internal conflict within himself because he realizes that hey look i got the buckle i'm gonna win at the end of the day what did he do he ended up partnering up with kegwa again granted he did it in the most like sneakiest of ways he couldn't have been like uh i'm switching part but no he did it because he probably didn't want to be seen as soft or something again to me i see buffa is like if i were to give an example you guys know dragon ball right dragon ball for me i see him like a vegeta kind of like he's there quiet stoic but he's going to have major character developments that make him one of the most likable characters in the series because i mean at least to me i'm not sure about you guys but some people even like vegeta more than goku which is fair point goku is kind of that's my opinion, but he's kind of lame. <laughs> this is my personal opinion, okay, bro? This is my opinion. Don't come at me. But what I'm trying to say is, is that Buffa, while he may be my second favorite on the tier list, he can easily be moved up to number one. At this rate, because of how he showed that no matter what, no matter what he says, no matter how stoic or cruel he may act, he's not, he's not a bad guy. There's a reason he made it this far. And it's not just his strength, his judgment, his character. He's here for a reason. I, 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 that's what I truly believe. Each of these characters have shown strong willpower. Well, again, I, I, well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I feel like I'm gonna change my tier list. K1 number one, Buffa number two, neon number three and then ace is last reasons why i'm saying is ace is not a developing character 
Some people may argue with me over that, but I, 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 I don't know, man. Ace feels very bland. There's nothing really going on for him. N the other characters like Neon, uh, Kawa, and Buffa are always developing. They're always improving on themselves, whether it be internally or physically. For Kawa, I feel like it's more physically, and for Buffa, it's def, it's definitely more uh, uh, internally. Like, wait, hold up. Did I say that right? Yeah. Kawa physically, he's trying to improve himself. Buffa internally, and Neon is kind of a balance of both, actually. Ace. I feel like Ace is already a developed character. Like, I don't know. I have a feeling like he already went through his arc and he's already like an established character. We just didn't see it. But I don't know. For me personally, I don't really see Ace as someone like... He's not a crazy character in my personal opinion. Like, when I compare him to a bunch of other common writers I've seen to the past... Uh, again, he's not bad. He's just... I don't know. There... Uh, I, I when I watch Geats, I'm I'm really not looking forward to watching Geats. And now when I say that, I mean the character Geats. For me, when I watch Common Rider, like the show as a whole, I love it. Okay, it's a really good series. I love this Common Rider series. If I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you, but the main character Ace himself doesn't really feel like a main character. Um, Kawa feels more the main character. Buffa, yo, Buffa had one of the best character developments in these past two episodes. Neon had a crazy good character development moment, and honestly, she deserved she deserved uh, uh, like having a good role despite like how she came off at first. Geats, yo, I'm just waiting for Geats to finally show me something to make me really, really like him, because as of right now, uh. I'm gonna have to put you on the back burner, Chief. <laughs> Again, I have nothing against you. It's just you're winning all the time. You, you're very easy to read. You don't really got nothing going for you, Chief. While everyone else is literally becoming stronger as a character in both mind and body. Again, some of you may disagree. Some of you may not care and just like Geats for who he is. But me, I'm a fan of someone that likes I don't know for me i've always been a fan of characters that appeared flawed and then they make themselves grow kind of like that zero to hero route like like let's be honest kawa is a flawed character buffa is a flawed character neon is a flawed character ace where is his flaws and, but that's what makes them so likable because Buffa is flawed, we want to see him grow and make himself a better person to where he can be just as important as anyone else in the series. Same for Kawa. Same for Neon. They're so flawed, but it's because they're flawed is what makes them great. Again, that's just my opinion. That's just how I see it, man. I'm sorry, like... Ace, you, you're you're pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, Ace. You have cool moments. You have cool finishers. You have very cool lines. And I like your fight scenes. But other than that, that's as far as I go when it comes to liking you. You your character as a whole? I'm sorry, bro. You're, unless I see something worth noting, you're in the back burner. <laughs> but yeah, that's just my... Again, once again, that's just my personal opinion. Please don't take offense to it. It's just how I see the series. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know your tier list and explain to me why. Tell me what is your... Actually, let's make this a bonus question. What is your honest opinion on Ace? Hmm? What is your opinion on him? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Peace. I'm out.